one streetwear and kind of clothing specifically is this honey dijon has launched her own merch collection and it looks really good I'm not gonna lie it looks proper good so honey dijon if any of you guys are aware or not aware she's a very well known very popular dj out there in the electronic space or electronic music space for the most part mostly playing house i'm pretty sure she's she's a, a chicago native for the most part um really really popular really successful plays all over the world and i think maybe as of the last three or four years it feels like she's really kind of popped and kind of gone mainstream people are booking her for fashion shows i think she did what, she did, what collection did she do recently done runway music for some fashion show i'm not sure which one it was one of her fashion friends but now she's suddenly launching a merch line i think in collaboration with dover street market which is even more epic than you know some other things that you might have heard of before so let's read the news here this is from vogue and it kind of um, views it i kind of saw it on um i actually saw it on dove street market earlier um i didn't even know the merch i was launching i was like, oh it's really cool i like the cut of the t-shirts it reminds me of this t-shirt i was given by fats recently that was kind of like a really high neck sort of like a weird is it is maybe what do you call that a 60s fit really short in the body um really short on the arms the the neck hole comes really high up um, really heavy kind of twill like i loved it i loved it i've still got the t-shirt actually on me but this kind of feels a sim similar sort of vibe as you can see from the t-shirt she's wearing here in the picture but this article is from vogue.com um sorry vogue.co.uk from the vogue um is it world page they've got that weird thing i don't know anyway i'll link it in the show if you guys to check out but it says here honey dijon is dismantling boundaries and launching her own namesake brand with comme des garçons not even double street market comme des garçons merch which is quite a cool thing I wonder where that relationship came from, but hopefully this article would kind of um, expound on it a little bit. So it says the following. Um, late one night in May 2017, Honey Dijon plunged a crowd of well-heeled revelers into a soundscape as multifaceted as its creator. This was Comme des Garçons after party for that year's Met Gala. And Dijon was doing what she does best, seamlessly weaving classics and cutting-edge tracks while rubbing shoulders with the industry's most influential figures. One such figure in attendance that very evening was Adrian Joff, who I met outside Dover Street Market alongside Ray Kyle Kubo. And this was me fanning out one time onto Dover Street Market. This was ages ago. I don't know. This is probably when Dover Street Market first launched. Um, when it was on Dean Street, I popped in there once. I don't know what I was going to buy. What was I going to buy? Maybe a book. I think it was a book. Was it a book? It might have been a book. I don't know what book it was. But my, my, I might went to the ideas book. So I remember going there and seeing Ray Kyle Kubo outside. I went to take a picture of her. And obviously, Adrian Joss said no, she doesn't take pictures. But she's very thankful of your appreciation. Like he, they, they have like a line that they say. And and Ray Kyle Kubo sort of gave me a little nod, and I gave you a little nod and carried, kept to moving. But it was a very, um, it was a very surreal experience to be in the presence of such a influential fashion figure like Ray Kyle Kubo. And obviously, Adrian Joff, who kind of acts as her kind of you know business arm and gets the deals done. He's kind of got his finger on the pulse he's got his eye on the landscape and he's the one that kind of is able to spot all these kind of you know cultural uh, moments that he can kind of maybe uh, align come the garçon with but come the garçon in general are quite picky who they choose in terms of manufacturing in terms of production in terms of who they carry in their store it's not a very easy thing to get um, involved with it always feels like a bit of a it always feels like, a, especially in the beginning, now I see a lot of um, advertisements for stock assistance and sales assistance in Dove Street Market, but when they first launched, you couldn't even apply for the job on the shop floor. Everything was sort of like, it felt like a real big recommended recommendation vibe. So like the uh, sort of like the Vivian Westwood store, yeah, you don't really imagine you could go in there and just like hand in a CV. Most people that work in there are like well known to Vivian Westwood and that whole scene, and very, political, very politically active, care about the climate maybe are uh, part of some sort of avant-garde forward-thinking scene you know it's a very kind of clicky small group of people and it kind of you know adds to the law of it similar to like a supreme right um, you don't actually go to supreme and hand in a cv right you have to be recommended by someone so it adds to the whole law so seeing someone like that out there was amazing and obviously having these on being collaborating with them it obviously shows that you know there's some sort of synergy that exists between both entities but anyway it continues Agent Drop, president of CDG, a longtime admirer of Dijon's musical ingenuity, uncompromising persona. By the nice end, the DJ and the president would meet, ignite a creative connection that Dijon would later describe as a house on fire. Imagine that. Imagine going and playing a DJ set in a sh in, in, in for fucking Comme des Garçons, right? Uh, for them at the Met Carla, sorry. Um, and then randomly, Adrian Joss hears your set, right? Likes your vibe enough to talk to you, number one. And then, because I'm sure he's seen the amount of after parties they've been to where there's been a DJ in the corner playing whatever they're playing. For him to see your vibe or to see you, hear your music, hear what you play, feel your vibe, look at all the people that are connecting with you, and then decide somehow in that conversation to start your own merchandise and to do your own collection under the Comme des Garçons umbrella with their production skills, with their manufacturing capabilities, and kind of funnel it all through their own store and give you your own namesake um, direct to consumer store too. 
Dream come true, man. Absolute dream come true. Because usually those kind of gigs, I've done a couple of them in store gigs, and for me personally, nothing usually comes with them because they're uh, they're probably akin to like a corporate gig, right? Of when you're in a corporate gig, they pay well, like a comedian. If you're a comedian doing stand up, they always complain about corporate gigs and college gigs. College gigs are quite frequent and they pay well. Um, corporate gigs are quite infrequent, but they pay very, very well. So a lot of comedians do it. But when they do it, they regret it because usually the people in the crowd don't really want to see you. They don't really care about you know. I've always wondered sometimes when I'm doing these in store gigs. They could, just, they could just slap on a pretty good playlist and, I, and it would do as well as a job as I would do, right? Because no one really cares about the DJ here. Um, you can obviously go into it with a different mindset and be a bit more positive and think, hey, I'm going to make them care about me. But again, it's not the place where people are coming to go and hear a DJ. They're coming to support the brand. They're coming maybe to get their name down on, you know, a pre-list, uh, 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 I'm sorry, a pre-order list or something. They're, I don't know, whatever it may be. They just want to be around and get some free drinks. They don't really want to hear you spinning, right? But anyway, it continues. Um, those flames would um, simmer over the next year until a chance occurrence Paris annual where you got Love Festival where Dijon was headlining uh, spurred them to back to life. That evening, a friend of DJ showed up to the concert wearing a homemade t-shirt and blazed with the words, Honey fucking Dijon, sick. The shirt's namesake found the garment funny enough to post a picture on her Instagram. Then Dijon later tells me everyone went crazy. Fans flooded her inbox asking where they could get their own version of the tea. Some even took to making their own and wearing to Dijon's gigs around the world. Being as smart as I am, she recalls a recreation. I thought there's something here. It was amazing. Which again shows maybe there's an avenue for someone, which maybe someone like me should make this idea. Well, you know how there's, um, you know how Jeffree Star does all the merch for the YouTubers? Maybe there's an avenue for someone to come in and start doing merch for DJs, production, just producing it for them because I'm sure their managers don't have time. Agents are probably too busy dealing with their other clients and these are flying around the world. So if you're able to kind of take their vision and take what they're about and basically create a t-shirt or merch line for them and just kind of put it up on Teespring kind of style site, you probably do quite, they'll probably do, it'll probably do quite well. And again, it's just another extra kind of revenue stream. It allows you to kind of see who your fans are in the crowd and like i said previously i think nowadays people would probably be more adept or more apt or more or more they'll be more encouraged or they'll be more willing to wear a merch line by a by dj instead of maybe a few years ago i think nowadays people like you know they view djs as like you know as the same way they view musicians now it's not the same it's not like hasn't got the corny um sort of like sheen it used to have maybe back in the day um anyway it continues here Da, 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 they continued she even got leather bags mate leather little pouches amazing there was and a few months after the festival over dinner her adoptive home of berlin dijon showed jo joff about the shirts and the uh, pops up uh, so you know what the thing about the shirts as well i want to make a point about because uh, i have a lot of friends that do this and it's something that kind of annoys me because some of my friends that do this are very talented designers or very talented creatives i have a very i'm very much against the people that are sharing ideas for merch um, ideas or t-shirts they want to do and it's just psd files essentially a jpeg or a line sheet of an image they want to do for a, for a garment i'm i'm very again i can't speak because there's a lot of ideas i have stored in my um hard drive here that i haven't printed into a physical item but the reason why i'm not posting the line sheet is because i haven't printed them out i haven't made them into a physical item until you make something into a physical item i don't think you should ever share the line sheet as a f form of like flexing your creative skills it does nothing there's not it doesn't show anything it doesn't bring it to life the only reason why that's why it's part of the reason why i think supreme is successful these years they show you stuff like real stuff you don't get you don't see line sheets you see the stuff in general nowadays they some leaks come out about the sneaker collaborations and you get like you know little illustr little vector drawings but for the most part you see the physical item you see even the items that are on their online stores nothing i hate more than seeing a garment on an online store and it's quite clearly um a physical a physical blank with just the photoshop or sorry with this the psd file or the illustrator file put on top of the item because they don't want to make it because they want to wait until someone orders the item first no make five make ten make them take pictures of the items and then upload them so people can see what they actually look like again it's not it's not gonna be a good representation because people are usually browsing their these kind of online stores on their mobile phone but i guess it's just a weird um I, I don't know if it's like a weird sort of like way to like you know i remember i mentioned about marathon runners and not turning up to races where because you know you get to you uh, sign up for a really popular race and then you get the little icon or you get the little graphic that says i just signed up i can't wait to do it or whatever it kind of gives you that, that dopamine hit that you've done the race right you get a little email that shows you a little image you can share on your socials to say that you've got a place in London Marathon. So a lot of people don't turn up to the actual race because they've already got their dopamine hit because of all the likes. People are going to say, oh, you're running or I'm going to raise money. Some people don't even turn up because they've already got a dopamine hit on that regard. So I think sometimes those JPEGs are like a weird dopamine hit of like, hey, I've done it. I've done the job. But you haven't. Show us the real item. Let's see it in, in real life. That's the way to real go forward. And I think that's what really got 
I think Honey DJ on this gig or this kind of collaboration is that um, there was an obvious demand for it. Imagine someone just drew Honey fucking DJ with a biro or with a Sharpie and a white t-shirt and you're, you're, you're like, shit, this thing has got 100,000 likes and, you know, everyone's really, want, everyone's clamoring for it. There's a real a connection between a real item as opposed to just like a, a kind of, you know, figurative thing. Anyway, um, honey fucking um, um, Dijon, da, da, da. everything is functional, Dijon explained, but nothing is beautiful. Plus, she'd always wanted to create a collection of luxury DJ accessories. Oh, that's what they are, little cap, awesome. So, like, similar to how footballers wear when they, with their toiches and shit, responded after the moment and said, why don't we do it together? Honey fucking Dijon, the grassroots merch campaign had become honey fucking Dijon, a collaboration between Comte de Gonçon. Dijon nearly fell out of her chair. She might have anticipated some interest of the collaboration, but she never thought it would be coming from Comte de fucking Gonçon. But some of the fifth, it will be launching under the reins of um, the age of Dover Street Market, which Jeff also oversees. The capture collection is set to include graphic t-shirts along with embellished hood um, wallets, record bags, USB carriers, and all manner of essentials for DJs and honey fucking DJs alike. Like, look at that. That's such a good t-shirt. It's such a good shape. You've got those massive um, armholes you can pick in. Nice short body you can tuck into some jeans. Honey Fifth Fucking Dijon logo on the back with, I'm, I'm assuming, the LGBTQ kind of colorways in a rainbow kind of embellish on it. It looks really nice, man. I, I, I think, I want, I think I'm going to get that t-shirt. It's like 80 quid on Dover Street Market. The pieces will, which come in a range of hues from matte black to, co to cotton candy, emanate an elegant sleekness, a style not dissimilar to the designer, sophisticated yet durable. These items are engaged, uh, 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 items to be engaged with, not aspired to, which I agree with. You wear those shit to the ground. Dijon says, describing how she drew inspiration for these. She grew up in Chicago. These kids would wear uh, Gianfranco Ferrer sweatshirts to the club. Oh yeah, nice. Gianni Versace, Claude Monet, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Vivian Westwood, she tells me. These were inner city black kids from the south side of Chicago getting these clothes by any means necessary. Um, 15, 16 years, Eight, um, eight, seventeen year old wearing these clothes to a dance, then sweat them off. It wasn't just about looking rich; it was about engaging with culture, music, and whichever, which whichever, which I totally agree with. What's more, as Joffy is quick to point out, HGF is not an collaboration in conventional or at least modern sense. There was no brainstorming. Joff says no sit around table chatting whether or not she liked pink or lilac better. The effective vision for HGF was Dijon. It was about trusting her. He says, suggesting that the true moment of collaboration was not the process of producing individual pieces, but rather a process of realizing a shared creative sensibility which is awesome look at the dj bag it looks really good i'm telling you guys dijon says it was literally so organic like you know when you bump into a friend while walking down the street in new york and then you end up hanging out all night then the next thing you know you're opening a club together she she asks with a laugh it's, which is this is why i love nightlife man where else are you going to get this kind of collaboration where else are you going to get this sort of richness and vibe like you can see you can see, you can feel how happy she is just right reading this article where else can you get that apart from nightlife this is this is why the article i mentioned in my previous podcast about creative hotspots it's so important uh, uh, creative night spots for you know creatives to go out to so important or hated you to mention in the article you know it's such a insular occupation especially being a dj or any sort of creative occupation you're spending so much time at home honing your craft digging through crates um going through um record stores going on discogs mixing uploading stuff making tracks it's so it's so so isolating you don't spend any time with friends especially if you're gonna get good at it right so the only times you can spend with your friends and let your hair down is when you go out at night right to hear the music that you're playing or to maybe play the music you've been making or just to connect with your scene in general and imagine from that occasion that rare moment that you go out and actually hang out with your friends something like this transpires you end up rubbing a restaurant you open a gallery you book a dj or you do this you do that you can hold it together it's so fucking cool i really love it man it's so inspiring what a great great story so here's a here's a reversion in white and also and so honey dijon might even begun an official officially that night in berlin but the seeds of her inspiration what, what happened in berlin uh, uh, in berlin what says here new york is burning the the but yeah check it out man it's a really good collection it's available now at dover street market i'm pretty sure let me quickly see if i can get it up on here yeah home uh -huh. mm -hmm. but yeah I'm a fan of it, man. Yeah, here it is. It's available now on Dove Street Market. So many good um, colors of t-shirts. I've got a nice little wallet here as well that you can check out. Like, so fucking good, man. Honestly, really, really good. Really good stuff from everyone involved. But I'm sure they, they, they don't need me to tell them that, innit? But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Some good shit here, innit? You've got t-shirts. You've got a white t-shirt as well as available. 80 quid, which is really good, good good look the pink one looks amazing as well i think they'll, they'll go off really well that pink and lilac and something like the green got a small leather case 
You've got a small, a medium bag. I, w- I wonder w- which ones are DJ case for the headphones and shit. I'd, I'd like to get that actually. I wouldn't mind having that. Really fucking beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Amazing. I like how they did it as a collaboration as well. It's just her name on it. It's not. There's no like Comme des Garçons tag anywhere. They do stuff really well. Comme des Garçons, man. The collaboration is amazing. So yeah, congratulations to her. Um, check it out now. I'm Dover Street Market. Sunglasses, small bags, wallets, pouches. And t-shirts, I'm sure some more stuff as well down the line very, very, very soon.